Match week 17 in the Premier League, and with that, a chance to win $50,000. What's going on, everyone? It's Jason Mattis with Winning Bets. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. That's right. We're up to 17 weeks now in the Premier League, and each and every time, the NBC Sports Predictor app has given us a chance to win $50,000. You guys know how this game is. They give you five games. you got to correctly predict the result and the score on all five games. If you can do so, you can take home those 50 points and $50,000 that comes with it. If nobody can do it, they'll give away a guaranteed $1,000 prize of the people that can get the most points. You get four points if you can get the result right. You can get an additional six points for a total of ten points if you can get the correct score right of each matchup. That's how you can accumulate points. Last uh, week's contest hasn't even been scored because of the disaster there with Tottenham and their whole COVID situation, so they haven't even finished scoring last week's result. We got two of the results right last week, and we got one of the correct scores right, and most people were tripped up by Liverpool losing, or not losing, losing the uh, drawing against Newcastle. That darn near tripped up most people. Let's jump on into it and see how we'll do the five games this week. First game they give us here is Brighton and Wolves. Look, Brighton's goal differential is minus seven, where the Wolves' goal differential is minus six. Brighton has scored three more goals than Wolves, but they've also conceded four more goals than Wolves. Check this out. Wolves haven't won a top flight game opening the new calendar year since 1981. That includes five straight losses from the first game in a new calendar year. That is staggering. Wolves have also lost three straight away fixtures so far in the Premier League recently, and they've only been able to score in one of them. The last five head-to-heads between Brighton and Wolves, they've seen three draws, which that's been most recently, and two Brighton wins. There's still no Jimenez from Wolves, so they still got the exact same problem that they've had, you know, throughout this torrid stretch, throughout this, you know, three-game losing stretch away from Premier League fixtures. They're just not scoring goals at a clip that they were with Jimenez in the lineup. So with that being said, with Brighton holding the advantage in the last five head-to-heads, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a draw. It's going to be Brighton 1, Wolves 1 is how this one's going to unfold. Next matchup here we got is Burnley versus Fulham. Look, this is starting to get to be a must win for Fulham. They're getting to the point now when you start playing these teams at the bottom of the table, you need to start winning these games and getting points if they're going to have any chance to get up out of that relegation zone. But we know how tough Burnley is, you know, defensive end. They've got Pope behind the, or between the sticks, even led the Premier League last season in clean out or uh, clean sheet. So it's just going to be tough to put one past Burnley or a couple past Burnley. But Fulham has scored more. They've got four more goals scored than Burnley, but then they've also conceded more. They've given up three more goals in the defensive end. Fulham's last win was November 30th, so gone a little over a month by the time this game kicks with having gotten a win in the Premier League. But they have done better lately. They've got four points in their last five games, so they've gotten four draws. So not winning games, but also doing what they need to do and getting out one you know point result. So that's been good. Burnley, they've bounced back really nice. They've won three of their last five. Two of those games were against Wolves and Arsenal, so good competition. Burnley's just looking real strong like we've predicted. With both teams scoring, though, less than one goal a game on average, I would expect this one to be fairly low scoring. I'm going to give the edge to Burnley and their defensive side and just their current you know winning form that they have going on. I'm going to say Burnley wins this game 1-0. Next matchup here, we got is Newcastle versus Leicester. Look, Leicester, this is going to be key because we talked about in this fit in this fixture, festive fixture schedule, how close the tight games are. Leicester's going to have two more days off in the Newcastle, so that's going to play really part. That to me is going to have a big factor in this game. Newcastle may be flying high; they got that draw against Liverpool, but it's going to be tough now. You've gone, you know, up against. Uh, Liverpool, or you've gone against City, you've gone up against Liverpool, now you've got Leicester. Leicester on two extra days of rest. Leicester scores more, and they should win this game. They're scoring 12 more goals uh, on the season than, than Newcastle, and, they've, and Leicester's also allowing less goals. So, I mean, Leicester should win this game. They've got the rest. They've got the squad depth. They've got the talent. I've got the Foxes winning this game. It'll give me a Leicester 2-0 win. Next matchup here, we've got is Chelsea versus Manchester City. A little tough to predict here because we know Manchester City's game against Everton in midweek was wiped away due to COVID issues. Not, you know, unlike, you know, American NFL football where we get a lot of information about these teams and closing facilities. I just don't know what's going on in Manchester City. They don't seem to give out the information like the NFL clubs do. So I don't know who's been training, what's been going on, who's impacted. This one to me is really tough to handicap. Chelsea, though, on their last time out, they were winning 1-0 against Villa, but then they let that disappear. They let Villa you know, scrape out a 1-1 draw, so that was disappointing for Chelsea. Chelsea's form overall is dipped. They're, they're you know, kind of just, just 
barely in the top 10 now. They're, they're just they're having a really bad dip of form. So in a tough game, that's tough to predict. I'll go ahead and say this one's a draw. Give me a 1-1 draw between Chelsea and Manchester City. And then the last game they give us here is Southampton versus uh, Liverpool here. Look, Southampton was once a top four team. There wasn't a few weeks ago we were talking about this club being a top four Boy, have the results just disappeared from them. They've slid all the way down to ninth place. No wins in their last four. That's three draws and one loss. The goal scoring is just drying up here for Southampton. They've gone three straight shutouts now where they've been unable to score, and they've only got one goal in their last four. So that's what's you know had this dip in form is the guys just aren't finding the back of the net. Liverpool is going to be upset. I mean, they're they're going to come to this game upset. They've gotten a draw against West Brom and a draw against Newcastle in their last two games. They are going to be absolutely upset. It comes down to them, though. Those are games against West Brom and Newcastle that they, that they should have won. I mean, just look at the one there midweek against Newcastle. Late in that game, you know, Newcastle's making two saves off the line. I mean, Liverpool is just not finishing. So it all comes down to me. Liverpool is the better team. It's just can Liverpool finish? They're not finishing right now at a clip that, you know, they expect and that they should be doing, you know, up against West Brom and Newcastle. So I'm going to say that Liverpool does finish at least one. They can scrape one across. Southampton's goal scoring is dried up. It's going to be dried up again this week against Liverpool. Go ahead and give me that Liverpool 1-0 win and that's how I'll round out my chances to win $50,000 on the NBC Sports Predictor app for Premier League 17. It kicks off on Saturday, so go ahead and get your picks in, guys. Go ahead and like this video if you're going to follow me on one of these selections or if I've been of help to you on any of these five. Go ahead and like this video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next contest. I'm Jason Mattis. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.